Around seven years ago, I was a woodcarver in search for my unique talent. I came across different materials and methods while trying to come up with some unique form of art. And eventually, my trial and error led me to carve books into book sculptures. When I took these books out of the shelves and carved my sculptures onto them, they too carved out the image onto my artistic life. They taught me patience, persistence, hope, time, ambition and love. They're like amazing kids. You raise your kids by providing their necessities, discipline, teaching them values. Yet they are the ones that ended up teaching you love, hope, patience, reminding you of your childhood ambitions. The act of carving these books by itself is an artistic journey. I make these book sculptures by first making a sketch, and I stack the books to my design height and width, making a block of wood to work on. I tell myself that the sculpture is already in there, I just have to find it. I just have to reveal it. Whatever I was carving out, the books have it inside of them. These books have people, they have physics, history, spirituality, economics and all of the things we could imagine. In average, it takes from one week to three months to complete each book sculpture. It took me around five years to learn the art of book sculpture. I tried to carve a lot of books as a trial when teaching myself how to carve books into sculptures. When you read a book, I don't want you to just accept what you are reading as a whole. Instead, I want you to think to ask, to experiment, to know and understand the other perspective, and finally, to reach at your own judgment. My book carving process involves grinding, sanding and polishing to reach at my final figure. So let me ask you this, do you grind your books? Do you sand them? Do you polish while you are reading? Or are you just simply taking all the blocks of books into your brain?